I've got this place locked down tight. This election fallout shelter is grade five, military bunker level people, which means it's impenetrable to nuclear weapons, chemical attacks, and even the most Roywood Jr. Hey, what's up, man? No, I was doing it. How did, how did you get into my election fallout shelter? I'm doing, I'm doing a show live. This is I, top level security. How'd you get in? I guess your password, Wakanda123. Don't say it out loud, dude. It's also my email password. What, do you want me to leave? Just say you want no, me to leave. No, I don't, I don't, got a problem I, don't with I don't want you to leave. I just, like, no, you're in the bubble. Just sit down. All right, all right, dude. Oh, I like, can't no, take I it with the you. Thing. Did you get tested, by the way? No, oh, man, we ain't got no 5G in my neighborhood. I'm good. <laughs> okay, uh, you should still get tested, man. I think... It's a joke. Calm down, Africa. I can't calm down on a night like tonight. All right, well, since you're here, Roy, you ready for some election results? Yeah, man, I admit, I'm a little nervous. There's you here. You're I'm here, a little right? nervous, but they ain't gonna get me like they got me in 2016. So I got some stuff to keep me calm. I got my pink stuff. And you know I got the liquor. Got a little tequila right here, man. And I, I you know, I ain't getting up off this couch either. That's why I got this one. This one for my urine. So I got one for, you know. All right, this is the tequila. Okay, that's my bad. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a P on this one for please drink this one. I don't think your system is gonna work, Roy. I think that's... All right, but you might need that booze because um, I don't know if you've been seeing the results from tonight, but Trump has started out strong because he's looking good in North Carolina and he's probably gonna win Florida. And I don't know, Roy, I was, I was actually hoping that maybe Florida would surprise us, you know, like they did with Obama, but I guess they rarely like Trump. I, look, look, I don't know why you're so surprised about Florida. First off, I went to college in Florida. That's what you don't remember. I know, I can tell you about Florida. Ain't but two good things in Florida. South Beach and Disney World. The rest of Florida is just strange people in pickup trucks trying to sell you baby alligators. So, of course, they vote. Who you think baby alligator man yeah, gonna but, vote yeah, for? Yeah, but I thought, I thought maybe, like, you know, I, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, because Trump is, like, he's the ultimate Florida mascot, you know? He's got the tan, all his friends are in jail. Somehow he has money. Oh, and he also has a much younger wife who, I don't know if you saw, dressed up really nicely today to go and cast her vote. As we mentioned a minute ago, we just saw First Lady Melania Trump at that polling site down in West Palm Beach, Florida. You can see here on the left side of your screen. She just finished casting her ballot, one would assume, for her husband in one of the three crucial southern battleground states we are watching very closely. You know, I'm pretty certain Melania is the only First Lady where people can only assume she voted for her husband. Because, I mean, she could have voted early, but instead she waited for election day, like, I'm an undecided voter. I was like, but Melania, what about all the things I did for Venezuela? I'm from Slovenia. Close enough, baby. Close enough. Ain't no way Melania voted for Trump, man. He gave her corona. Well, Trump didn't give her corona. They were never in the same room. Don't spread rumors. Okay, all right, you're right, you're right. But... I, I, no, I say she voted for Trump. I think Melania voted for Trump. You know why? Because if he wins... Melania's married to the president of the United States. If he loses, she's just married to Donald Trump. That sucks. You know what, though? I honestly, I don't even think that's really about Donald Trump. I don't think anybody really want to vote for their spouse. Like, I love my girl, but my girl put the knives in the dishwasher, blade up, reaching out, I can't trust her with the nuclear codes. (laughs) Well, you know what? I don't know if Melania voted for Trump, but what we do know is that he's winning a lot more votes from Hispanic and black people than he did in 2016. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but he's had a lot of rappers come out to support. At a rally in Florida, President Trump introduced Hispanic rapper Lil Pump, although he incorrectly referred to him as Lil Pimp. And speaking of sound music and other things, one of the big superstars of the world, Lil Pimp. There he is. <laughs> How is it going? Do you want to come up and say something? Okay. A pump and a pimp are very different things. If your basement is flooded and a pimp shows up, that's not going to end well. We need a hose. Well, I brought you some hose. Cinnamon, grab a bucket, bitch. You know what's crazy, old man? Is that just today, Eminem came out and endorsed Joe Biden. Right? That's the world we live in now. Who would have thought in 2020 that the white rappers would be with Biden and the black rappers would be with Trump. It's the first time black people have appropriated something from white people. You know, if there's one thing we cannot deny about 2020 is that it has sucked balls. Also, coronavirus has made everything weird. You've got a face mask drawer right next to your underwear drawer. 
Your delivery guy throws your food at you like he's a broke-ass quarterback. And even your creepy aunt doesn't kiss you on the mouth anymore. And voting, it turns out, hasn't been spared. With the coronavirus pandemic making social distancing a must, sporting venues have been transformed into polling locations across the country, from the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky, to Philly's Union Stadium and Atlanta's State Farm Arena, to name just a few. Arenas and stadiums aren't the only places being repurposed for voters. This year, voters in Los Angeles can also cast ballots at the city's famed La Brea Tar Pits. In Texas, this drive through location allows people to vote without ever leaving their car. And in San Francisco, the historic Neptune Society Columbarium, home to 8,500 cremated human remains, is now a polling site. Goddamn, people are even voting in crematoriums? Whew. I mean, it probably still smells better than a middle school gym, but man. I don't know, man. I think, like, honestly, like, it's more strange to vote at a sports arena, you know? Sports arenas ain't for voting. The sports arena is where you go to argue with people who, because they don't support the same team you support. You fight with people because they on a different team. You're right. That's probably a good place to vote. Roy, you doing good? This, this, this is how I'm doing. Okay? Wait. It's stressful. This, this is how I'm doing. Wait, I don't understand. Roy, if one of those oh, bottles is urine and one is tequila, how come they've both gone down? I can't tell the difference, man. I lost my sense of taste a couple of days ago, so I've just been hitting both of them. Can't really smell it either. I'm beginning to think this was a terrible idea. Now, despite this being one of the highest turnouts in American history, voting has gone surprisingly smoothly. Good news. But there are a few voting places that had a few hiccups. The risk of getting your vote ruined from too much hand sanitizer is real. In cases in California, New Hampshire, and Virginia, the sanitizer has been smearing the ink and making ballots unreadable and also causing soggy ballots to shred and clog electronic machines. From Georgia, apparently at the State Farm Arena, uh, they were delayed four hours because of a water pipe burst in that room. One location, Soap Creek Elementary, will stay open until 7.20 p.m. after a a poll manager overslept this morning. Really? How's a poll manager gonna oversleep? You had one job! That's like bumping into the Easter Bunny at a bar on Easter Sunday, and he's like, oh, shit, was that today? Politicians are working so hard to disenfranchise people with voter ID laws, gerrymandering. All they need to do is cook poll workers a rack of ribs on election eve. I can't believe this shit. Overslept? Bruh, every, every election, that's what they do, man. They pull a new rabbit out their hat. Oh, I overslept. A pipe burst in the ballot room. Man, I'm so sick of this voter suppression, man. Well, right, I don't know if it was voter suppression. It was just a burst water pipe. Yeah? And who doesn't like to get their they hair wet? Black women. I need to have whatever you're drinking, man. I'm still Trevor Noah. He's still Roy Wood Jr. No, you're Roy Wood Jr. Anyway, the votes are still being counted, and here are some of the latest results that have just come in. Trump has officially won the state of Kansas. Meanwhile, Joe Biden has won the state of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And in South Carolina, Republican Lindsey Graham has defeated Democratic challenger Jamie Harrison. Damn. Not really a big surprise. The South has continued to keep a Confederate monument. Roy, you want to hear some more results? No. All right, well, I'm going to give you some more results. Uh, Joe Biden has won the state of Illinois. Donald Trump has won the state of Utah. And this is big news. Fox News has called Arizona for Joe Biden. Oh! For Joe Biden. You're crazy. You understand? You're for Joe oh, Biden. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We stole one from you, him. Did you just mix the, the urine with the ticket? It okay, don't you, matter, man. You I celebrate got, the... This is crazy. Matter. That means Trump hugged all those cactuses for nothing. Oh, shit. That was wild. This shit's gonna go for a while, people. Brace yourselves. A bunch of states still haven't come in. Every day, we're gonna be counting the votes, and then after that, we're gonna be following the lawsuits. So get some rest. Sober up. And... You sober up.